Thank you very much. Thank you for your coming today to this important humanitarian coordination forum. The effects of climate change are obvious in Somalia. Last year faced yet another drought affecting 8 million people. Had it not been for early measures and close cooperation between international and local partners, we would have faced yet another famine. Just a few months ago, the Shabela River dried up and many photos of young children playing football in the riverbed were circulating. Since March, part of Somalia and Ethiopia Highland has, have experienced continuous rainfall. Whilst the rain has helped to reduce drought, it has also caused serious floods. The Juba and Shabele rivers have frozen and boosted their banks. According to the data collection, collected by the government and its humanitarian partners, as May 2023, more than one million people have been affected by the flooding. And of, of those, nearly 400,000 have been displaced in Hirshabele, Southwest, Jubilant State, and Baraj regions. In the Hiran region of Hirshabele State, an estimated 250,000 people were, were displaced after the Shabela River boosted its bank and inundated houses and corpses. Some of the affected had already been displaced. These people need water, shelter, food, health services, and emergency education immediately. In addition to this, Somalia will face stormy weather in the coming weeks. So we don't know how, how bad this weather will be. It may well endanger the already vulnerable population across the country. Recent drought have caused unpredicted damage and loss. This is why we have declared a national emergency. Our government took an immediate decision to focus on, on humanitarian needs. The effort made during 2022 and 2023 famine prevention measures determined that if we deliver humanitarian aid early and sustain it, it can prevent terrible situation. With the leadership of federal government of Somalia, this aid was delivered through massive effort by federal and state authorities, the private sector, civil society, and the diaspora community, and national and international humanitarian partners. We narrowly, we narrowly avoid what could have been a famine situation. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude by saying thank you once again to all of you. We will work together to help the most vulnerable groups in our society recover as quickly as possible. I thank you.